What up fam? Diesel Automatic checking in. Yo, so I seen this video the other day on Vlad TV. You know, sometimes I'll check it out. You know, I'm on, I stay on YouTube, so sometimes suggestions will pop up or whatever, but Vlad TV got a bunch of BS usually just appropriating hip hop culture and I'm not really crazy about about Vlad TV or you know, but nonetheless there's sometimes there's some quality interviews like um, and I caught this one with Hobson, you know, talking about um, Drake, you know, there's the issue with him ghost having a ghostwriter recently, you know, not writing all his lyrics and, and you know, Hobson and, and Vlad were essentially having this kind of debate about whether or not he should be considered as a, as a, as a top lyricist or even as a lyricist at all, knowing that he doesn't write all his own lyrics. And I'm blown away, fam. I'm just like, hold up. How are we at a point where where that's even a discussion, where that's even a debate. Fam, I came up in real hip hop, real hip hop. We cannot be, you know, real hip hop where, I mean, you don't even need to be <laughs> raised in real hip hop to understand the term lyricist. It comes from lyrics, comes from meaning that you create your own lyrics. How can you be a lyricist if you're not writing all your own lyrics, fam? It does not make sense. And that's and, and that's what Hobson was arguing. I seen Royce the Five Nines pretty much say the same thing. And they're both like, you know, cool, Drake makes good music or whatever, but in terms of him being considered a top lyricist, he shouldn't be, because he doesn't write all his own lyrics, fam. And that's I mean, that's just plain and simple. Like that's just logic. That's real, real hip hop from the street, from the culture, where you had to earn your stripes, fam, like I did. Earn your stripes around the way, in your neighborhood, in your hood. You know what I'm saying? You had to earn that title. Like for us, we had to, me coming up, fam, if you didn't write your own lyrics and you try to come spit in some lyrics that weren't yours, you, you could get beat up, straight up. Like, or if you get in a cypher, we used to, it was all about, we, you had, for, for me, you had to, um, to really be considered a top-notch MC, you had to not only be able to spit, write your own lyrics and spit them, you also had to be able to freestyle off the top of the dome. Like, you know, if you could only do one of each, you still got props and you would still be considered an MC. But to be considered one of the dopest MCs, a top MC, like I was considered in my area, in my neighborhood, around my way, you had to be able to do both, fam. And not just write. A lot of people could write lyrics, but they couldn't spit them. A lot of people could, could spit lyrics, but maybe they couldn't write them or they couldn't freestyle off the top of the dome. So you had to be able to do it. But nonetheless, fam, just like you come to, the, to a cypher, a freestyle cypher off the top of the dome, spitting some riddance, you liable to get beat up. Like straight up, Cass is going to have beef with you and, 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 and bring it to you. Like, what is you doing? You know what I'm saying? You're trying to be out here stunting in some type of way. Like, nah, fam. Just like now, you cannot, you cannot, you can absolutely not. Drake, whoever you are, I do not care. Based on real hip hop, what it means to be a lyricist and an MC, you, you can't be considered one. You got people, you know, people could take all, only your songs that you have written, that, 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 that have proven to be written by you, and maybe they could judge your lyricism based on that. But nonetheless, you ain't a real MC to me, Drake. You know what I'm saying? And I give props to Hobson for, for, for speaking up. Royce the 5'9", same thing. KRS-One, he addressed the issue and it was like, uh, you know, what's the point? Like, he's saying, well, nowadays it doesn't matter and this and that. But if you ask real lyricists, they're not going to be cool with it. Well, we asking you, KRS, like, talk about what real lyricism is. Who, You know, it's such a mistake for people in hip hop. I've seen it. I've seen it with Lord Jamar and just uh, generally people making these making these conclusions and basing what hip hop is or should be based on what is in the industry. And that's not hip hop. That's not even a, a, a small decimal, a fraction of real hip hop. Real hip hop is real hip hop. It's a culture. It's in the street. It is defined from the beginning. I'm not saying that, that there can't be branches and subgenres and these things. Of, you know, there's also rap culture, which Drake is a part of, which is not hip hop culture, which is like rap culture is future and, and, and Young Thug and all these cats. Like, and that is a spawn of hip hop, sure. But it is not the, 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 the root of hip hop. It is not the, the essence of hip hop culture, fam. That is break dancing. That is emceeing, real emceeing, writing your own lyrics, freestyling off the top of the dome. That's graffiti. You understand what I'm saying? That's DJing. Those, that's these things, yo. Like, 
That is hip hop culture. And it has not changed over the years. The where we need to look to see real hip hop culture is in the streets. In the streets, because all around the world, everywhere in the world, the real hip hop culture is represented and will always be and will never die. It is in the streets. There are right now people all over the world repping real hip hop. I'm in, I'm in a little town in, Mont in, in Europe, in Montenegro, and you will see graffiti. I know cats that break dance. I, you know what I'm saying? There's plenty of MCs, myself included. Real hip hop being represented throughout the world on a daily basis. So stop, stop measuring and looking at hip hop based on this nonsense in the mainstream commercial rap industry. Because that is not reflective or indicative of what real hip hop culture is. All right? So. Drake, as a lyricist, no, my homie, no. <laughs> he's a rapper, he's an entertainer, he makes, he makes good music to some people, that's subjective. I don't vibe off his music. I don't, like, I've heard stuff where, all right, it's got a good sound to it, but all in all, even, even with the lyrics he writes, to me, what makes him a lyricist, fam? He ain't saying nothing impressive to me. His punchlines is corny, he's not saying anything to me impressive, but that is my opinion, and it's subjective. So to me, as a lyricist, as an MC, he don't he don't do it for me, and especially not writing all his own lyrics. That's weak. And then all you know, Hobson was saying these kind of same things, and then Vlad TV want to try and make some ridiculous counterpoints to try to you know, just basically. I don't know if he was just playing devil's advocate or he's just a Drake groupie or what's going on. But like, first dude want to talk about well, Dr. Dre doesn't write his own didn't write his own lyrics and. And you know, this and that, but Dr. Dre never claimed to. Everybody knew that. Dr. Dre never claimed to be a lyricist, nor did anyone claim it for him. Dr. Dre was a producer off jump. He knew that everyone knew that he did not write his own lyrics. And no, and that's different. P. Diddy too. Those are entertainers. Who cares? No one ever, they've never been brought up ever or never will ever will be brought up in the conversation of, of who's the top lyricist. But Drake is brought up in that conversation. And he shouldn't be, just like Dr. Dre shouldn't be. And then this fool Vlad goes on to talk about, goes on to try to make the comparison of people of Drake using a ghostwriter to rappers not making their own beats, having to pick beats, fam, fam. You could say that to me if I claim that I'm a producer or that I'm a beat maker, but I'm not. I'm an MC, so yeah, I'm gonna choose my own beats. But if anyone ever says, "Yo, Diesel Automatic is the best beat maker." And I ain't made no beats, then of course you could start to you could start to trip on me and be like, nah, fam, hold up. You at you don't you don't even make your own beats. Like, you know, I could throw my name on it and say, yeah, I made this beat, but come find out I didn't even make it. You are going to ridicule me and you're gonna say you're not a real beat maker. You're not a real producer. But that's even another thing. Fam, there's a line between beat makers and producers as well. You can't look. It's, it's a lot, a lot of beat makers out there. A lot of beat makers. People who just make beats and dope beats, but they're not really producers. They call themselves producers, but they're not really producers, fam. If you're not producing the song, making the beat, actually, a lot of times the producer doesn't even make the beat. The producer will just arrange the song, tell you, you know, work with the artist to where the bridge has to go, to where certain things go, certain drops come in, maybe add an intro, different, you know what I'm saying? The production is producing a whole finished, completed track, a song, a masterpiece. That's what a producer does. In fact, I produced most of my own songs. I get the beat. And sometimes the beat maker or the, will, will have a, 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 an arrangement, a general arrangement, and that's cool, and I'll run with that. So they, they've produced it in essence. But nonetheless, most producers, it's from the beginning. They do the beat. They work. They, they even, you know what I'm saying, Well, like I've done for my own um, songs. I lay my vocals to a flat beat and then arrange the beat and the whole song and produce the whole song based on my vocals. So you see, if, you, if a beat, uh, if someone just sends me a beat, and it's just a beat, basically a loop. Maybe it changes it. Fam, you're just a beat maker. You just made the beat for that song. You're just a beat maker. You didn't produce it. So you see, it's the same. It's the same. Like, if you if someone else wrote your lyrics, you're not a and you spit them, you're not a lyricist. You're not a you're not a lyricist. You're not an MC. You're a rapper. You're a rapper. Because you're rapping those you're rapping those lyrics. You're rapping. You're a performer. You're an entertainer. But you ain't an MC, fam. You ain't a real MC, you ain't a lyricist, and you definitely not a top-notch lyricist, and why is this even an argument? Why is this even a debate? 
It's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? It's only a debate because it's Drake. And and you know, he's got all his all his fans and his groupies and like like Vlad TV and everybody else who just can't accept the fact that dude is not a lyricist and that's fine. And honestly, I've never even I I don't know, I don't really follow Drake, but I've never heard him say, "Yo, I'm the top lyricist or the top MC." You know, I, I mean, I know he brags about his money and all of that, but aside from that, I've never really heard him say anything like that. So, you know, I don't know. You know, it's, it could just be his fans who are jumping to to, to trying to, you know, escalate him and, and defend him and all of that. But nonetheless, fam, to me as a real hip hop head who had to earn my stripes, I'm not even talking about on, on, on the Internet and in the world with people and with fans since I've been doing music. I'm talking about in the street battling. No, I don't know how many battles I've been in. I've come to blows. I've shed blood. I've shed blood, sweat, and tears over hip hop. All right, <laughs> I've I've got into fist fights, rumbles. We'll freestyle battle. I'll slay somebody. They want to fight me afterwards, fam. Do you understand? Do you understand that like people don't know that even a lot of my fans they don't know the depths of like this didn't all just start four or five years ago when I started you know at, at the age of 30 nah I started rapping around the way when I was 12 13 years old with my with my friends with my crew like going on for years years and years after that freestyling battling ciphering graffiti all of that in crews like living a hip-hop life nobody cannot tell me anything about hip-hop that's it. Not just because I've lived it. I've studied it. I've, I, I am it. And when, when cornball ass people want to get on here and, and try to try to talk about what a lyricist is or what hip hop is based on what what the, the commercial industry that is run by rich old white men who don't know shit about hip hop, about the culture, about what it means, who dictate what is is spewed into the in, in, out there in the mainstream. Nah, fam. Most of this stuff like Drake, Future, Young Thug, all this, that's rap culture. You know, that's a spawn off, yes, of hip hop. But like, that's how it goes. But that's not really, that doesn't reflect the essence. Rap culture does not re reflect the essence of hip hop culture. See, hip hop culture just, j it, it, rap is part of the hip hop culture. Rap, but the, mu the music is rap. But within rap, it's being an MC is even more than just being a rapper. But then you have the offshoot, offshoot of rap culture where it's not about hip hop at all. It's just about rap. It's just about being a rapper. It's just about rapping about being a rapper and what you have and how much money. That's, and you know what I'm saying? That's what rap culture is. That's what mainstream is dominated by. Rap culture, not hip hop culture. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you want real hip hop? Look to the underground if you want to look at, into the industry, into the music industry. But please, my people, hip hop is a worldwide culture. It is a worldwide culture. It is in the streets. It is in the streets, but now it's beyond the hood. It's in the suburbs. It's throughout the world. It's in Europe. It's everywhere. Look to the world for real hip-hop culture. That is what hip-hop culture is. So please, if we're going to have this debate and this discussion, let's keep it 100% real when it comes to hip-hop culture. And let's not look at, at, at the, the media and the industry to, to dictate and to, and to show us which direction we need to, that hip-hop is headed in or what hip-hop is. Because hip hop at its essence, at its roots, the elements of hip hop and what hip hop is and what it represents for the people, for the community, for unity. You understand what I'm saying? That that cannot be changed. That cannot be changed. I don't I don't care what the mainstream media or any any rapper, even any KRS one Lord Jamar, no, I don't they don't have the right to change that. Neither do I. Nobody does. You understand what I'm saying? That's what hip hop culture is. And more than anything, in hip hop culture, it's not about what race you are, what nationality, what religion, what it's about earning your stripes and paying your dues. Earning your stripes and paying your dues, my people. And that can only be done through your actions and giving back to the hip hop culture, giving back to the hip hop culture by really being hip hop and contributing something positive to it. Whether it be through your music, spreading that message and knowledge of, 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 of truth, of love, of understanding, of all these things that are embodied within the hip hop culture, or whether it be actually giving back to the community, and being part of the hip hop culture, earning your stripes, paying your dues. And you know, we live in an age where 
it's so easy. People just hop on YouTube and they do their thing and write, you know, and they blow up and they never had to ever even had to rap in, in, in a cypher, get in a cypher. You know what I'm saying? Never even had to, had to show and prove around their own way. Yet we want to give them title of MC and of, of, of this and of that. And I ain't really with that fam. And people can say whatever they want. It's not about being old school. It's not about being old school or new school or whatever. It's about being hip hop. Hip hop is hip hop. Hip hop culture is hip hop culture. It cannot be changed. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, sure, think there can be offshoots and, and, and things of this nature, but the essence of it cannot be changed. It is what it is, fam. It is what it is. So, you know, Drake, all this nonsense to be a lyricist, you ain't writing your own lyrics, fam. You ain't a lyricist. You ain't a lyricist. You can't be considered top-tier lyricist. You can't. You can't be considered a real MC, fam. Straight up and down. So, hey, go check out that video below if you want to. Check out my music if you haven't yet, you know what I'm saying? Go check out a real lyricist, a real MC, who writes all their own lyrics, who every song has a message, a meaningful message, sounds good, and you know what I'm saying, who's been doing this their whole life. That's me, Diesel Automatic, yeah, check me out. Doing it my whole life, showing and proving, been in countless battles, dedicating my life to hip-hop culture. It's what I was about, it's how, how I grew up, it's who I am. You understand what I'm saying? So nobody can tell me otherwise. I, I, I don't care. Yo, big up to all of y'all. Big love and respect. Keep getting big on them, y'all. And represent for real hip-hop culture. Don't ever forget it.